Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Java 3D. This is my first Java 3D video. And to get started with Java 3D, you have to first off install the uh, actual libraries for it. So I'm going to put this link in the sidebar. You're going to go here. And this is the website right here. You're going to go on this and you're going to scroll down. You're going to find your version of Java that you have. So I'm actually running... 1.4.0 so just go here and then under installers you're going to choose your operating system and install that or just click on that to download it so just choose whichever um, version of java you have and just install it from there so i'm going to click this and basically it's just gonna download this for me and once it's downloaded once it's downloaded you're going to see it downloaded like this you're just going to run it run it as an administrator and it's just going to start this install shield and just accept this and just this basic installation is going to install pretty fast and once it's installed just hit finish now what you've done is you've added libraries to your current version of java so you can go on your normal editor and just use it with except with extra libraries so I'm gonna do that right now and I'll show you how to create your first Java 3D program okay once you start your uh, Eclipse platform or whatever you're using just uh, like normal you create a new Java project and uh, call it whatever okay now you have your uh, class and it just says public class 3D and it's just like normal and what you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a program it's going to be uh it's not going to be real 3D graphics I'm just going to get you the idea of how to make graphics in Java now to start you can import some things that you're going to have to import actually in every program that you make with 3D and there's these things that you can now import that you couldn't import before and it's just import com dot sun dot j3d and now you have all these new things that you can now import and I'm going to import j3d.utils.universe.simpleuniverse and that is my first import statement and my second is going to be import.sun.j3d dot utils dot geometry dot color cube because I'm gonna be making a cube right now and actually I could have just done import dot sun dot j3d dot utils dot star but import javax dot media and now you have this new media dot j3d and actually I'll just put dot branch group okay so these three new import statements are going to be needed for this program you don't need any of the import.swing java.swing or whatever you just need these three and you're good to go I'm going to be showing you the five basic things that are needed to create a, the most simplest program in Java 3D and the first is a virtual universe called a simple universe and same way I'm just going to create a uh, main public static void main string and in this main I'm going to place this virtual universe quote unquote and it's going to be like this for simple universe and call it anything uni is equal to new simple universe so right here I've created my simple universe and it's just simple universe is is what happens when you declare that is it creates the frame and stuff for you you don't have to go creating the frame and all that it creates everything for you because at this point it thinks you know all that you don't need to worry about that next you need to create a data structure to contain a group of objects so to do that you just go branch group and I'll call it groups is equal to new branch group so everything you do is going to be added to this group okay so in Java 3D you have a group which contains in 
Java 3D which you call children so it's gonna have children and you have to add those children to this group just like you have to add objects to a frame in when you're programming in normal Java so you can simply add things by going group dot add child or sorry groups dot add child and in the brackets you can now you can see that to create shapes it's already been done for you so you can just basically go new color cube and in the brackets you just put the size of this cube 0 0.3 I'll or 0 0.5 I'll put okay so this is just the distance from the origin and what you're gonna do next is the third thing you have to do is you have to add the object to the group so we just did that right here this is our object and we just added it to the group normally I should have done this in two lines created this object first and then just added that to the group but I just did it all in one line now the fourth thing you have to do is we have to position the viewing platform so that the user can actually see our cube or box or whatever we're making it's just gonna be a square it's not gonna be 3d because to make it 3d we have to add lighting and I'm not gonna do that in this video so to position it you just put you always put uh, the following line univer uni dot get viewing platform and then just put dot set nominal viewing transform so it just sets it to the position where the you the platform just uh, shows now the last thing you do is you basically add the this group to the universe because obviously when you create anything you have to add it so universe dot add branch graph and then groups or rather there we go okay so basically we're done that's all you need to do so you created a universe which creates the frame and everything so every program needs a simple universe and you create a group so a structure to contain all the objects you add a cube to this group or this branch group and then you set the viewing position for the user and you add the group to the main viewing platform now these five lines will make a cube for you and it's actually a glowing cube and you're looking at one face of the cube when I run this program so you're gonna see a black background here you should see a black background here when I run this program and sure enough we have our cube so the size of the cube is 0 0.5 and it is so basically this is actually a cube you're looking at one side and you basically did all this made this whole cube in five lines and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to make it actually 3d so add lighting it's not much harder it's basically the same thing but it's just a little bit more complicated so that that is Java 3d how to install it also I'm gonna be putting the API in the links so the Java 3d API and if you're actually serious about programming in 3D, you're going to have to read through the API. There's a lot of things in it. And it can actually explain this stuff to you a little bit better. So just check it out. This is the, this is the API for Java 3D. And you can just look through it. It's got many, many, many things. And just check it out. If you if you need help with any, uh, any of the classes or anything, just check it out here. It's uh, very detailed and it's very helpful. All right, thanks. Thank you.